My beloved child, if you believe this, like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you believe in God, type, I really love you, God. And if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type Amen. My beloved child, the time you have been waiting for, the moment you have longed to see has arrived. I know the depths of your heart, the desires you carry within, and the quiet prayers you have whispered in the stillness. Every tear you've shed, every hope that seemed lost has not been overlooked. I have walked with you through the valleys, through the storms that sought to shake your foundation. You were never alone, not for a single moment. Now, in this season, the time appointed by the Father, your breakthrough is unfolding. You have endured many trials, and your faith has been tested like gold refined by fire. Yet, through it all, you stood firm. You pressed on when the road seemed long, when the burdens were heavy and the path uncertain. I saw your strength, even when you thought you had none left. I heard your cries, even when you thought no one was listening. I was there, always, guiding you with unseen hands, directing your steps even when the way seemed unclear. Now you will see the fruits of your perseverance, the seeds you have sown in faith, the work of your hands, the love you have poured out in the lives of others, all of it will come to fruition. You did not labor in vain. Nothing you have done in my name has been forgotten. I have remembered it all, and now I am bringing the increase. The harvest is plentiful, and you, my faithful servant, are stepping into it. This is your appointed time. A season of fulfillment is upon you. Do not doubt the work I am doing in your life. What may seem small in your eyes is great in mine. The mountains you thought would never move are shifting before you. Doors that were once closed are being opened. Paths that seemed blocked are now being cleared. Where you saw only impossibilities, I am creating a way. My child, this is the season where what was promised will be made manifest. I have seen your endurance, your patience, and your willingness to trust in my timing. And now, I am rewarding you with more than you could have imagined. The delays you experienced were not denials, but divine preparation. You were being readied for the magnitude of what I am about to pour out in your life. Every struggle was shaping you, molding you into the vessel I need for this new season. You were being prepared for greatness. My child, you are stepping into the fullness of your calling. The dreams I placed within you, the visions you have carried, are coming to life. You are stepping into your destiny. It will not be by your strength, but by mine. I am going before you, preparing the way. You will see doors open that no man can shut. You will see favor upon favor in every area of your life. I have gone ahead of you, clearing obstacles, making the crooked places straight. Do not be afraid of the new things I am doing. I am taking you to places you have never been before, leading you into new territories, new opportunities. What you see before you may feel unfamiliar, but trust that I am with you. I am your shepherd, leading you into green pastures, to places of rest and abundance. I am opening your eyes to see the opportunities around you, to recognize the divine appointments I have set for you. Even when it feels overwhelming, remember that I am your strength. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. When you feel weak, I will lift you up. When you are tired, I will give you rest. You are never without my presence. You are never walking alone. Every step you take is ordered by me. I am orchestrating every detail, aligning everything according to my perfect will. The enemy has tried to convince you that your time has passed, that you have missed your chance, but he is a liar. Your time is not only now, it is divinely appointed. I have placed you here in this moment for such a time as this. You are not too late, you are right on time. 
Every delay was necessary for the work I was doing within you. Trust me when I say that nothing has been wasted. Every pain, every struggle, every disappointment, I am using it all for your good and for my glory. You will see how I have turned what the enemy meant for evil into good. What seemed like a setback was really a setup for your breakthrough. I have been working behind the scenes, aligning people, places, and situations in your favor. You may not have understood it at the time, but soon everything will become clear. The veil will be lifted and you will see the fullness of my plan for you. My child, there is a purpose in your journey, a reason for every season you have walked through. Nothing has been in vain. You are about to witness my promises come to pass in your life. You will see the fulfillment of every word I have spoken over you. The dreams that seemed so far out of reach are now within your grasp. I am bringing you into the land of promise, into the place of abundance I have prepared for you. But remember, as you step into this new season, it is not just for you. I have blessed you to be a blessing. What I am pouring out in your life is meant to overflow into the lives of others. You are called to be a light, to shine my love and truth in the world. You are a vessel of my glory, and I will use you to touch the lives of many. The gifts I have given you, the talents you possess, are not just for your own success, but for my kingdom. You are entering a time of great influence, where your voice will carry weight and your actions will inspire others. I am positioning you in places where you will have the opportunity to make a lasting impact. Do not underestimate the power of what I am doing in you. I have set you apart for a special purpose, and the time has come for you to walk fully in it. The world needs what I have placed inside of you. Your story, your testimony, is a beacon of hope for those still in darkness. The trials you have overcome, the victories you have won through my strength, will serve as a testimony of my power. You are living proof of my faithfulness and your life will inspire others to trust in me. You are a living epistle, a letter written by my hand to be read by all. As you move forward, keep your eyes on me. Do not be distracted by the things of this world, by the opinions of others, or by the fears that try to creep in. Keep your focus on me, and I will guide you every step of the way. I will give you the wisdom you need, the strength to carry out the tasks before you, and the grace to handle the blessings I am pouring out. You are equipped for this moment, for this time. Hold on to the promises I have given you. Let them be your anchor in the days ahead. When doubts arise, remind yourself of my faithfulness. When fear tries to creep in, remember that I am with you. I have brought you this far, and I will not leave you now. You are walking in my favor, and nothing can stop the plans I have for you. You are stepping into a season of divine acceleration. What once took years will now happen in moments. Do not fear the rapid changes that are coming your way. What may appear as sudden shifts are simply my hand moving swiftly in your favor. I am aligning everything according to my divine timing. You have entered a season of acceleration where what seemed distant is now within reach. You will begin to see breakthroughs, one after another, unfolding before your eyes. The prayers you thought were delayed are now being answered, and you will see my promises come to pass faster than you expected. Do not be surprised by the speed at which things are happening. You have prepared in the quiet, in the waiting, and now I am moving quickly to bring about the fulfillment of those promises. What took years of toil and struggle will now manifest effortlessly by my spirit. Trust the process. Every step you take is part of the divine blueprint I have drawn for your life. You are moving into your purpose with clarity, with vision, and with a renewed sense of direction. You have been given keys to unlock doors that have been closed for so long. Those barriers that once held you back are being removed. The walls that stood between you and your destiny are crumbling. What was impossible is now possible because I have made the way. The authority I have given you is real, 
and now is the time to walk in it boldly. Speak with confidence. Move with purpose. Every word you speak in faith will come to pass, for I am with you, empowering you to do all I have called you to. As you step into this new realm, you will encounter opportunities that far exceed anything you have imagined. These are not just opportunities for your own advancement, but for the expansion of my kingdom. You are a vessel through which my glory will be displayed. I have called you to be a witness, to carry my light into the dark places, and to be a beacon of hope for the lost. Do not underestimate the impact you will have in this world. You are a chosen instrument, uniquely equipped for this moment. But with this new level comes new responsibilities. As I elevate you, stay humble. Remember the source of your strength. It is not by your own might, nor by your own power, but by my spirit that you will succeed. Keep your heart aligned with me. Do not let pride or self-reliance take root. It is essential that you remain grounded in the truth of who I am and what I have done in your life. I have chosen you not because of anything you have done, but because of my grace. Let my love be your guide, and let humility be your covering. I am enlarging your territory, extending your influence, and increasing your capacity to carry out the assignments I have set before you. You will find yourself in rooms you never thought you would enter, standing before people of influence and speaking to those whose hearts are ready to receive. I am positioning you strategically for my purposes. Do not shrink back in fear. You are fully equipped for what lies ahead. I have given you everything you need to succeed in this new season. Do not be intimidated by the challenges that come with greater influence. I have already prepared you for them. The battles you have fought in the past have strengthened you for what is to come. You are not the same person you once were. The tests you have passed have given you the wisdom, discernment, and resilience necessary to walk in the fullness of your calling. You are stronger than you realize because my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Lean on me in the days ahead. The journey you are on will require dependence on me like never before. Do not try to do this in your own strength. I will guide you every step of the way. When you encounter obstacles, know that I am there to help you overcome them. When you face opposition, remember that no weapon formed against you will prosper. I am your protector, your shield, and your defender. You are covered by my hand, and nothing can stop the plans I have for you. There will be moments when the path ahead seems unclear, but trust that I am leading you. I will give you the wisdom you need, moment by moment. When you seek me, you will find the answers you are looking for. Do not be anxious about the future. I am already there. I have gone ahead of you, preparing the way, and I will provide everything you need at the right time. My provision is always perfect, and you will lack nothing as long as you remain in my will. As you continue to move forward, do not be distracted by the voices of doubt and fear that try to pull you away from your purpose. The enemy will attempt to sow confusion and discourage you, but you must stand firm in the truth of my word. Hold fast to the promises I have given you. Meditate on them day and night. Let them be the foundation upon which you build your life. My word is unshakable, and as long as you remain grounded in it, you will not be moved by the winds of doubt or the storms of life. There are greater victories ahead, and the battles you face will only strengthen you for the victories to come. Do not shy away from challenges, for they are opportunities for me to demonstrate my power in your life. When you face resistance, know that I am with you, fighting on your behalf. The battle is not yours, but mine. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Watch as I bring you through every trial, stronger and more victorious than before. The season you are entering is not just about personal victory, but about my glory being revealed through you. I am calling you to be a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope in a world that desperately needs me. You are my hands and feet, and through you, I will reach those who are lost, broken, and in need of healing. 
I am giving you a platform to speak truth, to bring healing, and to demonstrate my love in tangible ways. This is your time to shine, not for your own glory, but for mine. You have been faithful with the little, and now I am entrusting you with more. Do not despise the days of small beginnings, for they were necessary to prepare you for this moment. The lessons you learned in the hidden places, in the quiet seasons of waiting, are the foundation upon which I am building. You are ready, my child. You have been tested, refined, and strengthened. Now is the time to step fully into what I have called you to. Keep your eyes fixed on me as you move forward. Do not be distracted by the success that comes, but remain rooted in my presence. Your intimacy with me is your greatest treasure. Do not trade it for the fleeting things of this world. Success, fame, and recognition are fleeting, but your relationship with me is eternal. Guard it with all your heart. Make time to be with me, to sit in my presence, to hear my voice. It is in those quiet moments with me that you will find the strength and direction you need. As you step into greater levels of influence, there will be those who try to pull you away from your purpose. Be discerning. Not every opportunity is from me, and not every open door is meant for you to walk through. Seek me in everything. I will guide you in the decisions you make. Trust the leading of my spirit, for he will show you the way you should go. I will give you the discernment to know what is from me and what is not. You are stepping into a season of divine connections. I am bringing people into your life who will support, encourage, and walk with you in this new season. These are individuals who will help you carry out the assignments I have given you they are divinely appointed to come alongside you, to partner with you in fulfilling my purposes. Be open to these new relationships, for they are a key part of what I am doing in your life. At the same time, there will be relationships that I will ask you to let go of. Not everyone can go with you into this new season. Some relationships were for a season, and that season has now come to an end. Trust me, as I prune away what is no longer necessary for where I am taking you. It may be painful, but it is necessary for your growth. I am refining you, preparing you for the greater things that are to come. The pruning that is happening in your life right now is not to harm you, but to make room for the new growth that is coming. Just as a gardener trims away the dead branches to encourage new life, so too, Am I trimming away what is no longer fruitful in your life? Do not resist this process, for it is for your good. You may not understand it fully in this moment, but in time, you will see that every cut was necessary to bring forth the abundance I have planned for you. There are seasons where shedding the old is necessary for embracing the new. This is a season of renewal for you, a time where I am doing a deep work within you preparing you for the greater assignments that are ahead. It may feel uncomfortable at times, but trust me in this process. I am the vine, and you are the branches. As long as you remain in me, you will bear much fruit. The pruning is not to diminish you, but to increase the harvest that will come from your life. In this time of transition, there will be moments where you are tempted to look back to long for the comfort of the familiar. But I am calling you to press forward, to keep your eyes fixed on the path ahead. The past is behind you, and I am doing a new thing in your life. Do not dwell on what was, for I am opening doors to what will be. The things you thought were lost, the opportunities you believed were missed, are not gone. I am the God of restoration, and I am bringing you into a season of redemption where all that was stolen, all that was broken, will be restored, you will see my hand move in ways you never imagined. The very areas of your life where you felt the most pain, the most loss, will become the places of your greatest testimony. I am turning your mourning into dancing, your sorrow into joy. What was meant to break you will be the very thing that elevates you. The enemy thought he could destroy you, but I have turned it around for your good. 
You will emerge from this season stronger, more resilient, and more equipped for the battles ahead. My beloved child, know that you are never alone. Even in the moments of isolation when it feels like no one understands, I am with you. I understand your heart in ways no one else can. I see the things you keep hidden, the struggles you face in silence. I am with you in the quiet moments, in the places where no one else sees. You are never out of my sight, never beyond my reach. I am closer to you than the air you breathe. Lean into my presence, for it is there that you will find peace and comfort. In this new season, I am giving you new strength. What once drained you will no longer have power over you. The things that once caused you to stumble will no longer hinder you. I am breaking chains that have held you captive for far too long. This is your time to walk in freedom, to experience the fullness of the liberty I have purchased for you. No longer will you be bound by the limitations of the past, by the fears and doubts that once plagued your mind. I am releasing you into a new level of freedom, a new level of boldness. You will find that the things that once intimidated you no longer have power over you. The enemy's lies will fall powerless before you because you are standing in the truth of who you are in me. You are more than a conqueror. You are victorious in every situation because I have already won the victory on your behalf. Walk in that confidence, knowing that no matter what comes your way, you are already triumphant in me. The battles may rage around you, but they cannot defeat you. I have already overcome the world, and because you are in me, you too will overcome. As you walk in this new level of freedom, I will open your eyes to see opportunities where others see obstacles. You will have the wisdom to navigate difficult situations with grace and clarity. The challenges that come your way will not overwhelm you, for I am giving you the strategies to overcome them. You will be a problem solver, a beacon of wisdom in a world that is desperate for answers. People will come to you, drawn by the light of my wisdom that shines through you. You will find that even in the midst of chaos, you will have peace. My peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind. This peace is not based on circumstances, but on your relationship with me. As you remain close to me, as you keep your eyes fixed on me, nothing will be able to shake you. The storms may come, but they will not destroy you. You are anchored in me, and I am your firm foundation. As you move forward, I will bring people into your life who will walk with you on this journey. They will be divine connections, individuals who will encourage you, support you, and speak life into you. These relationships are part of my plan to strengthen you for the road ahead. Be open to the new people I'm bringing into your life. They are there for a reason, and they will play a significant role in helping you fulfill your destiny. At the same time, be mindful of the voices you allow to influence you. Not every voice that speaks into your life is from me. Discernment is key in this season. Seek me for guidance in every relationship, in every conversation. I will show you who is meant to walk with you and who is not. I will give you the wisdom to navigate the relationships in your life with grace and love. You do not need to fear rejection or disappointment, for I am your source of affirmation. Your worth is not found in the approval of others, but in my love for you. In this time of elevation, stay humble. Remember that every blessing, every opportunity, comes from my hand. Pride has no place in the life of my children. As I lift you up, keep your heart rooted in humility, knowing that without me, you can do nothing. It is in your humility that my power is made perfect. The world may tell you to seek recognition and fame, but I call you to seek my presence. The accolades of men are fleeting, but the favor of the Lord is eternal. Seek first my kingdom, and everything else will be added to you. Your time has come, but remember that this is only the beginning. The journey ahead is filled with opportunities to grow, to learn, and to experience my goodness in new ways. 
Do not be afraid to step out in faith, even when the path is unclear. I am with you, guiding you, and I will not let you fall. Trust in my timing, for it is perfect. What I have started in your life, I will bring to completion. You can rest in the assurance that my plans for you are good, that I am working all things together for your good. As you walk in this new season, keep your heart aligned with mine. Spend time in my presence, seeking my face above all else. It is in those moments with me that you will find the strength, the wisdom, and the guidance you need. I am your source, your provider, your everything. Stay close to me, and you will lack nothing. I am the Good Shepherd, and I will lead you into green pastures, into places of abundance and peace. Your time has come, and I am with you every step of the way. Do not be afraid, for I have gone before you. The future is bright, and the plans I have for you are more than you can imagine. Trust me, my beloved child, for I am faithful to fulfill every promise I have made to you. You are stepping into a season of fulfillment, of joy, of peace, and of abundance. This is your time, and I am leading you into everything I have prepared for you. My beloved child, as you step forward into this new season, I am calling you to walk in the fullness of your identity in me. You are no longer bound by the limitations of the past, the labels that once defined you, or the mistakes that once held you captive. You are a new creation in me, and as you embrace this truth, you will begin to see yourself through my eyes. I have called you by name, and I have set you apart for a divine purpose. The identity you once clung to no longer defines you. It is my identity that you now wear. You are clothed in righteousness, covered by my grace, and empowered by my spirit. Walk in this truth with confidence. When the enemy tries to remind you of who you once were, remind him of who you are now, a child of the Most High, chosen and beloved. There will be moments when doubt tries to creep in, when you question whether you are truly capable of stepping into all that I have for you. But know this, I have already equipped you for every good work. I have placed within you everything you need to fulfill the calling on your life. You are not walking this journey in your own strength. You are walking it in mine. When you feel weak, I will be your strength. When you feel uncertain, I will be your guide. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. In this season, I am calling you to deeper levels of trust. There will be times when the path ahead seems unclear, when the steps you are taking feel uncertain. But it is in those moments that I am asking you to trust me completely. You do not need to have all the answers, for I am the one who holds your future. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and I see the full picture when you only see a part. Trust me with the unknowns, for I am working everything together for your good. As you trust me, I will give you peace that surpasses understanding. This peace is not dependent on your circumstances, but on my presence in your life. Even in the midst of uncertainty, you can have peace, knowing that I am with you. I am your refuge, your strong tower, and your ever-present help in times of need. You do not need to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, for I am carrying it for you. Lay your burdens at my feet, and I will give you rest. You are not alone in this journey. I have placed people around you who will walk with you, who will encourage you, and who will lift you up when you feel weary. These are divine connections, people who I have strategically placed in your life for such a time as this. Be open to receiving from them, just as you are open to giving. There is strength in community, and I have designed you to walk this journey with others by your side. But even as you walk with others, remember that your ultimate source of strength comes from me. Spend time in my presence daily. Make it a priority to seek me first in everything you do. It is in those moments of stillness, when you quiet your heart before me, that I will speak to you, refresh you, and give you the wisdom you need. Do not neglect your time with me, 
for it is in my presence that you will find everything you need. I am calling you to a deeper level of intimacy with me. The distractions of this world will try to pull you away, but I am asking you to fix your gaze on me. In this season, more than ever, it is crucial that you stay connected to me, that you draw near to me with your whole heart. As you seek me, I will reveal mysteries to you. I will show you great and mighty things that you do not yet know. I will give you clarity, insight, and vision for the days ahead. You may not always understand why things unfold the way they do, but trust that my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. There is a purpose for everything I allow in your life, even the things that seem difficult or confusing. I am working in ways you cannot see, orchestrating events behind the scenes, aligning everything according to my perfect will. Trust in my sovereignty, for I am in control. There will be moments of testing in this season, moments when your faith will be stretched. But do not fear. These tests are not meant to break you, but to build you. Just as gold is refined in the fire, so too will your faith be refined through these trials. I am strengthening you, preparing you for even greater things to come. You will come out of this season stronger, with a faith that is unshakable and a trust that is unwavering. Do not despise the process, for it is in the process that I am shaping you into the person I have called you to be. I am removing the things that no longer serve you and refining the qualities that will propel you into your destiny. Trust the process, even when it feels uncomfortable. I am the potter, and you are the clay. I am molding you into a vessel of honor, fit for the master's use. As you continue to move forward, remember that you are not just walking for yourself, but for those who will come after you. Your obedience in this season will pave the way for others to walk in freedom. The battles you are overcoming will become testimonies that inspire others to trust in me. You are a light in the darkness, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You are part of a much bigger picture, a grander story that I am writing. Every step you take in obedience is part of that story, and it will have ripple effects far beyond what you can see. You are part of my kingdom, and I am using you to advance my purposes on the earth. You may not always see the full impact of your obedience, but know that nothing you do in my name is ever in vain. As you walk in this season, do not be discouraged by the opposition you may face. The enemy will try to hinder you, but he has no power over you. You are covered by my blood, and no weapon formed against you will prosper. Stand firm in the authority I have given you. Speak my word over your life, over your circumstances, and over your future. My word is alive and powerful, and it will accomplish what it was sent to do. You are more than a conqueror. Through me and nothing can separate you from my love. No matter what challenges come your way, know that you are victorious because I am with you. You are not fighting for victory. You are fighting from victory. The battle has already been won, and you are walking in the finished work of the cross. As you continue on this journey, remember that I am your source of strength, wisdom, and provision. You lack nothing because I am your shepherd. I will lead you beside still waters, restore your soul, and guide you in paths of righteousness for my name's sake. Even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for I am with you. My rod and my staff will comfort you. The road ahead is filled with blessings, opportunities, and divine appointments. Keep your heart open to receive all that I have for you. Do not limit yourself by small thinking or by past failures. I am doing a new thing in your life, and it is greater than anything you have experienced before. Step into this new season with boldness, confidence, and a heart full of faith. The best is yet to come, and I am with you every step of the way. You are my beloved child, and I delight in you. 
I take pleasure in blessing you, in watching you grow, and in seeing you fulfill your purpose. My love for you is unchanging, unwavering, and eternal. Rest in my love, knowing that I am for you, not against you. I am your greatest advocate, and I am working all things together for your good. Keep your eyes on me, and you will not be shaken. The storms of life may come, but they will not overwhelm you. You are rooted in me, and I am your firm foundation. Stand strong, my child, for the future is bright, and the plans I have for you are good. You are walking into a season of abundance, overflow, and divine favor. Trust in me, for I am faithful to fulfill every promise I have made to you. You are my beloved, and your time has come. Amen.